Hey everybody, you're listening to the Inspirational Power Hour and I'm your host Chandra Wise and I'm excited because my sister Miss Tanya Griffin is on the phone with me. Hi Chandra. How are you? I'm well. How are you Chandra? I'm absolutely wonderful and I'm excited to hear what you have to share with us today. Great Chandra. Well, our message in a minute today is don't reject your calling. And we want to look at the book of Exodus, chapter 3 and chapter 4. And we want to bring one of our character witnesses uh, before us. And we're going to look at the character Moses. As we see that God had called Moses and assigned him to bring the Israelites out of bondage in Egypt. And Moses had given God so many different reasons why he would not be able to fulfill the call that God had called him to. So God wanted Moses to understand that, like he said in Jeremiah, I formed you. Before I formed you, Moses, I knew you. Moses, like many of us today, gives God so many different reasons of why we're not able to fulfill the call. We say to God, just like Moses did, who am I to go and to deliver these people out of bondage? Maybe God is calling someone out there today to fulfill an assignment. Mm-hmm. And you might feel as though you're not able to fulfill the, the call that God has already assigned you to. But I want someone to take heart on today like God comforted Moses. And he said, Moses, I will be with you. If I called you, I have equipped you to fulfill the assignment. All the excuses in the world that we give to God won't work. We might say to God, well, I'm not educated. We might say to God, I don't have the resources. We might say to God, God, I just don't want to do it. But I want to encourage someone's heart out there on today. Don't reject God's call. God's call is stronger than any of your inefficiencies that you feel that you have in your life. If God calls you to it, he will equip you to be able to do it. We have a saying that states that God does not call the equip, but he equips the call. Some of us feel as though we want to just pack our bags up and not fulfill the assignment. Some of us may feel as though if God has called us and we packed up our bags not to fulfill the assignment, that God is going to get someone else. I want you to take heart on today that you are the man or you are the woman for the job. Just like Moses, you are the person to get the assignment done. So again, I want my listeners on today to take heart like God encouraged Moses. You can fulfill whatever it is that God has called you to do. And God will equip you to make sure that the assignment is fulfilled. This is Tonya Griffin of Happy and Healthy Life Giver. Have a great day.